Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of season 2 of Layback Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder how much she has to go. It's so pretty. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? <laughs> You'll find it. Hmm? Are there solar panels? Probably. <laughs> Let's just hope and pray that this goes successful. <laughs> Hello, this is the early, I've been up since 6.45 this morning because um, I had to do stuff with my car and everything that is no longer officially mine. Rest in peace, my car. Um, and I was like, well, since I'm still going to be up and since I got enough sleep, I was like, I might as well stay up anyway or stay awake. And I was like, oh yeah, this comes out. How but something tells me I'm about to crash. <laughs> Is she gonna fall? <laughs> Well, that's why you need one of those um, pocket Wi-Fi's. That's why I couldn't last camping. Look, I'm so happy everything's going well for her. Mm-hmm. Just gotta wait at night and sing. It's very peaceful during the day. Oh. 
Mm. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, can you fix it? Good job, Curve. But you did good. You got a grill and everything, right? Well, isn't there another way to go around, though? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, there should be another way around. There has to always be another way around. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. so much that the screen shook. <laughs> you gonna do that, baby. Okay. Oh, that's that's a little too much. <laughs> that's why I don't think I could ever I, like. Okay, so I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. There was one time, I think I was in like middle school, where I ate deer, but I didn't know it was deer. My mom's friends and her daughter, um, well her daughters, put it in like a hamburger and I thought it was just a regular old hamburger, but then I think like two, three years later, my mom told me what it actually was and I was like, oh, uh, I ate Bambi for one day and one day only. 
It was okay, but I don't think I could ever eat it again. Mm. Or maybe she just turned it off. <laughs> oh, God. She'll be fine, Rin. She's doing good. You worry too. You gonna go see her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they both gonna take that drive. <laughs> your girlfriend and your sister. <laughs> Poor curb. What happened? Trying to go warm. <laughs> oh. Oh, that looks so good. Maybe say hi. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Ooh. Good. Kirby. Avocado. Oh my god. This girl. Kirby. Bless Kirby.
Yeah, but that sounds good as fuck. Ooh, especially if you put like some honey or some sugar. It's already gonna get sweet because you know with the charcoal and everything and you're grilling it. Oh my god. I want one so bad right now. Ooh. Even though it ain't winter. Well technically it is still winter, but we're getting into spring, but oh that'd be so good. Uh oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> looking for reception <laughs> uh -uh, looking for reception <laughs> Got a bar.
my two best girls eating dinner together. Oh my god. <laughs> So in the end, Kirby's solo campus is a success. Yay! I'm so happy. Honestly, because, like, there was a moment between last week and this week's episode where I was like, oh, my God, please don't let anything horrible happen. But everything went well for her, and I'm glad. Like, oh, my God. I, I thought it was really cute that both Rin and Sakura um, decided to go check up on her because, of course, that's her older sister and her girlfriend. <laughs> or like I don't wait like Nadeshko hasn't texted or anything so we need to go check up on her and make sure she's okay I love the fact that they took that drive because that just shows how much they both care for Kirby and the way but yeah baby girl did such a good job I mean her like cooking some grilled vegetables oh that stuff looks so good that sweet potato that sweet potato oh my god like Oh, God. Grilled sweet potatoes. Especially when you go mm, put some sugar, hell, honey, maple syrup on it, something. Oh. Mm, I already ate today, but like, damn, I would love to have me some grilled sweet potato because, God, oh, that just made me hungry. <laughs> but it was sweet that Kirby also made friends, too. Like, oh. That's just baby. Like, it was just so sweet. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a little creepy. Um, well, yeah. Because do you see how tall that thing is and how big that thing is? Mm. Damn. Damn. <laughs> the two people <laughs> the two loved ones in Kirby's life like yes we need to go check on her check on your wife <laughs> your wife slash my sister we need to know if she's okay <laughs> but yeah I'm happy you know honestly in a weird way I kind of want to see my best girl Sakura um and my other best girl, even though she's only been in one episode, it's Kirby's friend. Um, go camping, because especially for Kirby's friend, I forgot her name. Um, she said that when it gets warmer, she wants to, you know, eventually hang out with them and such. And hopefully that does happen, because we are eight episodes into season two. And by next week, we'll be into episode nine. So we don't know essentially what's going to happen from episode nine to the end of the series. So here's hoping she does make it another appearance, like at least one more final appearance before this show ends, because I would hate to end this show on a high note without her, because even though she's not, her character isn't that important. But I mean, because of the fact is she is one of Kirby's friends and technically she's in episode one but only by a voice 
and she doesn't make her first official appearance until several episodes later it would be nice to have one final episode where everybody including her heck even you know kirby's parents ren's parents ren's grandfather everyone who's been in season one to season two heck even the people that everybody has met along the way to be in one final episode together i think that would be really nice but yeah once again kirby was successful at it i'm glad that she took the chance to say hey ren i want to do solo camping like you i want to give it a go i want to see if i enjoy it and if i do i think i'm gonna make it like kind of a thing her thing just as much as ren makes it her own thing but yeah this is a really good two-parter episode but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode eight of season two of laid back camp if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next thursday for episode nine bye guys